morning, everybody. Michelle is here. October the 1st, 2024. Wow. Oh, man. Um, in my neck of the woods, is, is the, the temperatures are mild. So, you know, in the 80s. But then once I go out and about and handle my business, it's, um, it, it, you know, the temperatures do go up so it's still a little warm up here in my region of the world uh, I know a lot of people are dealing with stuff and you know like I said uh, before it's just a tip of, tip of the iceberg we're, we're all going to be dealing with something trust and that's going to be forever and ever um, it's just how you um, how you plan for things and how you accept things and how you do the best you can to be realistic about things I know a lot of um, people have lost a lot of materialism, you know, their material values through these storms, and some people have lost their lives, you know, um, and all I can say is just be gentle about everything that you're going through and know that, you know, I know a lot of people say this, and I, I and I wonder if they are really and genuinely except that they say, well, I'm just thankful to be alive. I agree with you. I agree with you 100% on that. Uh, however, remember, you know, what, what, what is this teaching all of us? You know, it's not, we're not, you know, just, this is something that we can, we can gently uh, be concerned with individually and no one has to know. But just ask these questions, you know, to yourself, you know, especially um, if you if you realize that you're in a spin, literally, figuratively and metaphorically, it's like, okay, so what am I missing here? Realistically, what am I missing? Do I need to stay here? Do I need to stay there? Do I need to get rid of this? Do I need to get rid of that? Just do a kind and gentle inventory of your reality and ask yourself, okay, you know, what is all this teaching me? What am I missing here? What are the lessons here? And don't attempt to um, go be exaggerating on one end and exaggerating on another. You know, um, if you genuinely are thankful to be alive, then that's that, that that's a great thing. But are you? You know, so th those are the an those are the questions you need to ask yourself. And like I said, no one has to know. You know, do a gentle inventory of your reality, and be grounded in it, and say, okay, is it really safe to be here? Do I really need this? Do I really need that? Because I'm telling you, because you can't fool your consciousness, the energy of your thoughts are going to put you where you need to be, not necessarily where you want to be. Especially because a lot of us are unconscious when we're thinking. We're not, we're not consciously aware of what we're saying to each other, saying to ourselves, and what we're doing in our actions and our behaviors. So just understand that, you know, um, some of you know that you're in a spin. You keep going through these same kind of uh, realities year after year after year after year, and you know it. Um, and and people around you are probably have been attempting to kind of tap you here but what's been really happening is our consciousness our subconscious has been you know throwing us into experiences to see to to, to genuinely um uh reveal to us am i actually thankful to be alive and if i am thankful to be alive why am i risking my life just think about it. Just think about it. Be gentle about it and just be realistic and say, okay, if I'm so thankful to be alive, why do I keep risking my life? Okay, so a lot is going on. It's a lot is going on for all of us. All of us are dealing with something. But it's, it's, it's the level of your consciousness which will reveal, are you walking the talk? Or are you just talking? Are you just wanting to feel good? And so you go, you know, you you you, you know, you say things, and, you, and like I, the the point I'm making is, you can't fool your consciousness. So be conscious of what you're thinking about. 
Are you contradicting what you're saying that you're so thankful to be alive, but yet you keep taking all these risks? And I'm and I'm and I, and there's difference between taking balanced risk versus these these other you know extreme risk. <clears throat> and um, and just you know just say okay, you know, because I know a lot of you are tired. You ought to be. Some of you have been going through this kind of circular. Uh, circle of life events I mean for decades you know that sp that constant spinning 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 so just be safe if you are so if you are thankful to be alive just know and be grateful for that but make sure it matches up to what you're thinking about and and the, the results you're getting are your results Sig signifying that that you're thankful to be alive you know so i'm gonna go ahead i'm fixing my breakfast lunch and dinner all in one because i got to go out later I, d I do it all in one <laughs> because i love to snack on stuff all day long i love to have something to drink something to snack on i mean food is food is food is love for me you know i love food and I love it, you know, when it's um, when that energy is right with the food. You know, everything has energy to it. You know, your words, when someone... So so be kind to people, is my point as well, that are servicing us. Even the people that are attempting to, you know, bring you... Back, you know, to put your electricity back, you know, turn on your power, you know, fix your internet... You know, uh, do you know? Clear out debris and this and that and the other. And you, you know, just 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 be kind and gentle with those people. A lot of them, you know, are away from their families and they got the same kind of devastation and stuff going on. But they they choose they, they you know a lot of them want to help. Believe it or not, there are people out there that genuinely want to help people. So just be kind and gentle, more so to yourself. Because if you're kind and gentle to yourself, it will reflect in others, okay? I'm going to send peace and love all over stars and moon and mountains. At the end of the day, it's about universal love. Share it. And trust me, I will be back. <laughs>